you don't mind advice that you didn't it's unsolicited it's it's advice that you didn't ask for I just showed up and I'm gonna give you some advice well who does she think she is well this is our Benny of our Benny TV and I want to give you some advice are you willing to listen if you're not you know where to click I want to talk to you about something that is going to uh, guarantee you a better result are you looking for a better result in your life thank you that's what I thought yes the answer is yes you're looking for a better result in your life okay or better results and I thought that I would give you this little gem this little nugget that many of you may know about but some of you may not and if you don't know about this precious little golden nugget that I have to provide for you, this will change your life, okay? Have you ever had a situation where you didn't like someone and you needed something from them? You don't like them, but there's something that they have that not only do you want, you need. Be it their assistance, you need their assistance. You need them to change something. You need them to stop something. You need them to do something. Have you ever had a situation in your life where you dealt with someone that you didn't really particularly care for? You don't like talking to them. If you had your way, you wouldn't even look at them. You wouldn't talk to them. But doggone it, here they are again, and I got the nerve to need something from them. Well, I want to talk to you about diplomacy. Diplomacy. It's a little secret. Diplomacy. What is diplomacy? How do I obtain it? How do I acquire it? What the heck is it? And how will it benefit my life? Diplomacy. Well, the first thing I'm going to tell you is you are going to have to get rid of your representative. You're going to have to be authentic if you want to utilize diplomacy. And who's your representative? Your representative is your ego. Every time you want to do something, say something, do anything, here comes your representative, the ego, to jump in front of you and save the day. And what I'm here to let you know is your representative, your ego, is getting you into trouble. Because your ego jumps in and the ego says stuff that the outcome is bad. The ego says stuff and the outcome is that you're now boastful. Uh, you're uh, conceited. Uh, you are um, argumentative. Uh, you're not helpful. Uh, your ego, your ego will jump in at the time that you need it to be gone. Okay, you don't need your ego 
to be your representative. You need to be your authentic self when dealing with particular situations. And here it comes. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take that ego and you need to sit that ego because it has use. Ego has use, but you're going to have to sit ego in the background sometimes so that you can deal with people the best way. Now, here we go. Tact and diplomacy are methods used to aid effective communication, especially during negotiation and when attempting to be persuasive or assertive. Using tact and diplomacy appropriately can lead to improved relationships with other people and are a way to build and develop mutual respect, which in turn can lead to more successful outcomes and less difficult or stressful communications. Diplomacy is an art form. You know, I love to repeat myself. Diplomacy is an art form, okay? Uh, it can come naturally, a gift from God, or you can learn how to be diplomatic. But I, I think I need to share this with you because I come across many people who fail to be diplomatic. And you know, I come across a lot of people because I manage a lot of people. I supervise a lot of people. I support a lot of people. I advise a lot of people. I counsel a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Someone came on my platform the other day and wrote, uh, you know, well, you know, what, what do you know about this? How, you know, what's making you the expert? Who said I was an expert? But I've studied human behavior. They gave me a couple of degrees for it, but that's not the point. The point is I've lived on this earth long enough to have learned some things and now I'm giving back. Hello! I'm giving back to the community. The community of people who want to hear what I have to say. Now if you don't want to hear what I have to say you know what you can child, you know what you can do. Click and I'm poof, I'm gone. But I want to talk about this art form of diplomacy. It's important to become diplomatic because when you become diplomatic, you are able to sensitively talk, communicate. I'm sorry for the jump in. This, this thing is like getting old. You are able to successfully communicate with people in a thoughtful, uh, uh, compassionate, empathetic way. And you don't even have to like them. But it makes life easier for you. Now, I've noticed, I've noticed that people have difficulty being diplomatic. And I want you to know that you can you can be diplomatic, impactful, effective. You can communicate with people and get from people what it is that you want, despite whether you like them or not. Now, I'm trying to tell you, I want to tell you that you can get from people what you want from them and you don't even have to like them by being diplomatic. Listen to them. Hear what they have to say. Let them believe that the things that they have to say are important. Now, I'm not saying, I, you know, I am saying a little bit fake the funk if you have to. Because ultimately, if you need something from them, you're going to have to be friendly. You're going to have to listen to them. 
You're going to have to listen. You don't have to agree. This will work with your friends, with your sister, with your brother, with your neighbor, with your co-worker, with Jimmy down the street, okay, that you don't like. But let, let's, okay, all right, I'm going to come up with a scenario. Let's say that your next door neighbor is constantly throwing trash outside and it blows over to your your home. This is just an example I'm just pulling out of a hat. And you need that trash situation to stop. Now you have two choices. You can, uh, well you got several choices, but I'm gonna just give you two. You can either cuss them out, say who the do you think you are with your MF and bleep bleep trash blowing over? You see this trash is blowing over, blah blah blah. And you're going to get a negative response. And now it's because your ego had a need to fight. So you say some things that generate negativity as opposed to you receiving the result that you want. So you can you can do it that way, or you can be diplomatic. You can be impactful. You can get the result, the outcome that you were looking for by saying, ding dong, you ring the little bell. Hi, how are you? Did you have a little time to talk? Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, let you know. You know, I noticed that your trash is like kind of blowing over on my side. Did you need any trash bags or anything? Because I can, you know, I can assist by providing you with some, you know, just to, you know, to make sure everything is, you know, clean around the area. Did you need any support in that area? Now, you wouldn't be talking to them exactly like that. Because they might even, you know, wonder, you know, what, what, what do you mean support? I don't need your support. However, you want to show that you are willing to take part in the process so that your area will be clean. Does that make any sense? Right now, more than ever before, there are people around us that we don't like. We don't like them. I don't like you. There's people everywhere that I don't like. I don't like you. Have you had that feeling? I don't like you. There's something about you. Something suspicious about you. Or something I don't trust about you. There's something... I, I just I just want to stay away from you. Because I just... I don't care for you. You ever feel that? What I'm telling you is... You can take that energy... And you can make that work to your benefit... But you're going to have to do some work as well. No, I'm not telling you that you must kiss anyone's behind. But what I'm saying is in order for you to get the results that you want, especially if you have to get it from people that you don't like, you're going to have to be diplomatic diplomatic you're going to have to come up with ways to communicate with people you're going to have to listen to them listen to their point of view respond back respectfully despite the fact that they might not respect you this is a hard thing to do I'm giving you goddess information okay woman who has the ability to create change, a woman that has the ability to communicate with those people that don't normally want to listen. Those people that are uh, that those people that are not trusting. Those people that uh, 
don't have your best interests in mind. You're going to have to give them the very best of you in order for you to receive the result that you want. You see, it's not about them. We already know that they have a problem, right? We know that they're ugly. We know that they're envious. We know that they're mean. We know that they're envious. We know that they are disgruntled. We know that there are all kinds of things going on in those people's lives. And when they inflict that pain or inflict that you know, discomfort upon you, rather than uh, have your representative come out, which is your ego, Take the authentic you that comes from within and give them something good. If you become more diplomatic towards the people that you don't really care for, you will have a better result. Try it out. Come back. Let me know how you made out. Give me an example, okay? I'm just curious to know if you're going to take on the task because it's challenging, okay? So it was so very good seeing you. I look forward to seeing you again and again and again and again. This is our Benny of our Benny TV, and I, child, I'm going to talk to you soon, okay? You take care. Peace.